Restrictions for carry-on liquids could someday become a thing of the past. That is because of an American-made scanning device. It's now being installed at airports in Europe. Terrell Brown is with us. Terrell, good morning. Hey, Charlie, good morning to you. An Ohio-based company has developed a new type of liquid scanner that works fast enough to serve the world's busiest airports without compromising security. At this research park, scientists have staged an explosion that could occur on board an airplane. The explosive is a clear liquid that could easily be mistaken for water. Why do this? These, you know, liquids um, are readily available. Currently, our airports prevent these from going, going onto the planes in these quantities, but it's a, a huge inconvenience to the traveling public. Data from the experiment is used by scientists at Battelle, a research group based in Columbus, Ohio. Here they produce one of the most advanced airport scanners in the world. The portable machine can detect liquid explosives concealed in any type of container in a matter of seconds. How does it work? We take our container, here we have a, a baby bottle, just common uh, formula inside, place it on the sensor, and within two to three seconds, we get a result. We can do the same kind of test with a flammable liquid, maybe something we don't want to go through. In this case, we have some kerosene. Two seconds, get an alarm. The need for this technology goes back to 2006, when British authorities foiled a terrorist plot to blow up airliners using liquid explosives hidden in soda bottles. In response, strict limits were placed on the amount of liquids air travelers could carry. I've literally seen people crying as their three or four hundred dollar bottle of, of alcohol is, is dumped in, you know, in the disposal bin. To make sure the scanner quickly determines whether a liquid is harmful or safe, researchers collected data on thousands of everyday items from hand soap to baby oil to maple syrup. Cocktail sauce is an explosive. <laughs> Hot sauce isn't, of course. Absolutely not. What are you testing? These are all things that could commonly be carried through by, by the public, and we need to ensure that the system does not uh, alarm on these. The LS-10 is already being phased in at several European airports, where officials plan to lift restrictions on carry-on liquids by 2016. If new explosives are discovered or new mixtures are, are created, the system can be updated. So far, the LS-10 has not been approved for use in the United States. But in a statement to CBS News, the TSA said that the relaxation of limitations on liquids, aerosols and gels and carry-on bags remains a long-term goal. Over 100 units are being shipped to airports around the world each month, offering air travelers some relief while maintaining a level of security they have come to expect. The information really is there to make them safer, make travel safer, and allow them to more conveniently um, do their travel. The LS-10 is now being installed at several major airports, including London Heathrow. Officials there hope to have them fully operational by the end of January, when new rules come into effect that would allow connecting travelers to carry duty-free liquids past security. Charlie Nora.